Okay, what's up tycoons? What's up traders? Very excited for today's video. We're going to look at ticker symbol CKB. All right, this is the nervous network. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off zoomed in a little bit more. We're going to break down this quick strategy right here using the Fibonacci. All right, we're looking at the 61.8, the 50% and the 38.2. These are the three most important retracement levels that there are that you can pay attention to. Um, and algorithms take over about 70% of trading in the crypto market and the stock market, whether you believe it or not. So it's really good to start using some math formulas uh, and potentially using some of the things that these algos are using to really go ahead and get a handle and get a better grip on understanding the price action of the market. We're also going to go over many other things as well, uh, including some chart patterns and divergences on the relative strength index down here. So make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and we'll go ahead and jump straight into it. So the reason we use these three levels specifically is because these levels will let us know whether we're in a healthy retracement for a continuation of a trend. And in this case, specifically, it's going to be a downtrend. We'll go ahead and look at some past examples of uptrends and it working in, on uptrend cycles as well, um, or for a reversal, right? If you're not going to get a continuation of a trend, you're going to get a reversal. So we're taking our swing high up here, connecting it to our swing low down here. We see we have this move to the downside. We retrace up to our 38.2 retracement level, and then we get a continuation of the trend, okay? We recently just got that as well. So if we zoom in, even on the more current price action, we see that we got a retracement from the high right here, connected it down to the lows. We see we come down, we retrace up, we broke through our 38.2, we got very close to the 50% retracement, and then we continued that downwards trend and made new lows right here, okay? Now, what we're doing currently is making a bullish divergence, right? So I'm not saying that this thing is about to go to the moon or anything like that, but this is a signal that you can use for a possible entry um, you know, on a day trade or a swing trade and things like that. What we're seeing is a low here and a lower low here, right? That's what these two circles are. If we look at our relative strength index, we have a low and we have a higher low. So the relative strength index is creeping up while the price of this token is going down. They should be matching each other, right? The relative strength index measures the relative strength of a token at its given price. So if a token is dropping in price, the relative strength of that token should also be dropping in price. Uh, when that doesn't happen, that's what's known as a divergence. In this case, we have a bullish divergence and we could see some bullish activity here in the future, but uh, we'll just readjust our retracement levels, right? And, you know, or we'll even just, we'll get rid of these, okay? And we'll put from this high right here, down to the most recent lows. Now we haven't made a bottom yet. So, you know, these levels will change if we continue to go lower, but it would make sense, right? For us to get a nice little bounce off of the bullish divergence, right? And come up and retest our retracement levels. Now, if we, you know, it looks like this when you're getting a continuation of the trend. If we break through this, it's gonna look like that, all right? So if we come down and we're able to actually break through these levels, that's when you can get a, uh, a reversal, right? So you break through, that's when you get a reversal, right? If you hold the levels, that's when you get a trend continuation, okay? So we're gonna actually zoom out now and go back and just look at all the many examples and times in the past where this has occurred, okay? And specifically, this first one we're gonna be looking at is a very, very similar setup to what we're actually looking at currently right now. We have a low, right? We have a low here, we have a lower low here. On our relative strength index down here, we have a low and then we have a higher low. So the relative strength index is actually going up. It's a divergence from what the price of this token is doing going down. It's an indicator we may see some bullish activity when we track our swing high, okay, down to the swing low that we made in this area here. You see, we ultimately come down, we get a nice bounce off of that bullish divergence, and ultimately we come up and get rejected at our 50% retracement level and continue that downtrend, right? And we can just see here just a few more examples of this strategy working and why it's so crucial and important to start implementing in your own, um, you know, watch list and, you know, at the tickers you're looking at connecting the high to the low, we see we come down, we retrace, hit our 50% reject, uh, retracement level, continue that trend down, right? And then we establish a new high once we got that retracement. Here's our new high up here, all right? And we're just doing the same thing over and over. We have a high connected to our low. We come down, we retrace, hit the 50% retrace, uh, retracement level and continue that trend downwards, right? At any one of these given points, we could have broken through these levels, right? We could have broken through and that's when we could have looked for a reversal but we haven't, right? We have not broke through any of our retracement levels. Um, you know, and that's no surprise. It's been a very, very brutal crypto winter, crypto bear market. Um, we'll actually zoom out real quick to the past. Um, 
And you can see how well the strategy works on the upside as well when you're looking to uh, catch a retracement and a trend continuation to the upside. So in this case, what we're doing is we're connecting our lows first to our highs. We're seeing we come up, we retrace right here to our 61.8 retracement level, and then boom, we get a continuation to the upside, right? And then if we take that low that we made right here and connect it up to the highs um, over here, right? So uh, here's our low, here's our high. We see we come down, we retrace, and then we continue that move, right? Here's the low, here's the high up here. See, we come down, we retrace, continue that move upwards. And we really just keep doing this and keep doing this, right? Now we connect this low up to our new recent high, okay, up here. So we have the low here connected to the uh, high here. And then we come down, we retrace, and we continue the trend upwards, right? Low here, high here, come down, retrace right to our 50% retracement level, and then continue that trend upwards. So it works in both directions. Uh, it's an unbiased technique because you can spot reversals, right? So in this case, look at this one right here. If we come down right here, we ultimately, we end up breaking our retracement levels right here, right? So we come down uh, and you know right here, we're trading through them. And then ultimately we break through and we make a new high, right? We have a high right here and then a higher high right here. So you know once we break through these levels, I'll draw it over a little bit more. You can see that we're actually pretty bullish right here. We get a nice V-shaped recovery. Uh, and that's how we know that, hey, we're not continuing the downtrend right here. If we would have rejected those levels, right? We would have came and went down and we would have continued that downtrend, but instead we broke through those levels and we were able to get a nice reversal, okay? Um, so now that we've established that, um, let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm seeing currently. All right. To me, this looks like one giant bear flag, right? And I actually charted this up in my last video. So if you haven't subscribed and you're not watching my videos, I'm putting content out at least um, every other day. Sometimes, you know, I take a break one or two days, but I'm pumping anywhere from about five to 15 videos every single week. And again, I do viewer requests every week. So all you have to do is leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to, you know, make a video on the ticker that you guys want as soon as I can. But in my last um, CKB video, I pointed out this bear flag here, you know, and I said, hey, you know, here is our flag pole. Here is our consolidation flag right here. And as soon as we break this trend line here to the bottom, it's going to be a sharp move to the downside. All right. Now we did get that sharp move to the downside. If we take a look, uh, we've dropped pretty nice. OK, we dropped about 38 percent, 35 to 40 percent. Let's just call it that. Um, and, you know, well, there's a big chance we could drop down even more. Okay. I hate to say it guys, but you know, January, um, you know, Q1 of 2023 could be very rough. Um, there's a lot of, you know, big factors going on in the market um, on top of just, you know, just the massive amount of FUD. Okay. You have to take into the fact and consideration that this entire year, people have been bag holding and taking losses the entire year. Okay. That's going to take a toll on people, you know, emotionally and mentally. Right. They're not, you, people aren't used to, you know, they're not being a crypto bull market, right? I mean, uh, 2020 really is when everybody really jumped in massively to the market and, you know, it was just straight up from there. And now everything is not doing that. And, you know, on top of that, you have all of these crypto exchanges collapsing. Um, you have Gemini, Voyager, you have BlockFi, then you have, you know, Sam Bankman Fried stealing everybody's money, committing fraud, right? Thank God he's finally been arrested. Um, so, you know, you have to keep that in mind, okay? You have to keep that in mind and, you know, look at things for the long term or look at things for the short term and identify trading signals, right? So that's what this video is doing is I'm teaching you guys, um, you know, how to use some of the signals and I really how to combine some signals together to really give yourself an edge in the market, right? Trading in, in cryptocurrency is like a battlefield. You need to have the proper weapons. You need to know how to use those weapons and, once you're able to do so, then you're going to give yourself an edge, right? Everybody can still make money in a bear market. Um, you just have to know, you know, what you're doing, what to look for, right? And again, it's not financial advice. It's just, you know, this is all more informational, okay? So if we take a look here, we have some other examples of some great setups that we had. Um, so right here, this pattern right here with the, with the trend line going to the top and this trend line on the bottom, this is known as a rising wedge. This is actually a bearish pattern, and it just keeps getting tighter and tighter until we break this trend line. Once we break this trend line, typically you're going to see a break and a retest, right? So we came down, we broke, we retested it, and then we got a sharp drop to the downside. Okay. Um, you know, that's one of the weapons you can use guys is, is chart patterns, right? Another one is divergences. Okay. So take a look here. Instead of a bullish divergence, we have a bearish. So we have a high here, 
right? And then we have a higher high right here. So the token clearly is in an uptrend going up higher. We should actually be seeing the relative strength index reflect this, right? But in this case, we're not. We're seeing we have a high here and a lower high here. So we're going downwards and we're heading downwards on the relative strength index. This is a bearish indicator. And sure enough, you know, it, it, we have a very sharp drop. We consolidate a little bit and then ultimately we continue heading downwards. So um, that's the main point of this video is just trying to help you guys out. Smash the like button, subscribe. That's going to be it for today. If you made it this far and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. But I have two other videos that I'm going to play right now. I think you might enjoy those as well.